Now this question has been asked in the CBSC examination 2010. So it says two cards are drawn successively without replacement from a well shuffled pack of 52 cards. Compute the mean of the number of aces. So this has dealing with mean with number of aces and cards and without replacement is the key word here. Let's start with the solution. So I know that if I have to talk about the number of aces in a well shuffled pack of 52 cards we have 4 aces and 48 are the other cards which are not including any ace and number of aces can be how many when I say that two cards are drawn so either it can be no ace or it can be one ace or it can be two aces so x is equal to 0 denotes no ace when no ace is there that means you're going to take out from 48 cards one card firstly so 48 c1 over 52 c1 which is 48 over 52 then what happens since the second card also has to be drawn out and that is without replacement which the question says you are left with 47 cards and 51 here so that we will calculate and just put the answer as whatever it is then is probability x is equal to 1 now probability x is equal to 1 means there will be 1 from the ace category and 1 from the non ace category before that let's write the answer for this this is 564 over 663 and double 63 you can just calculate on your own so x is equal to 1 means 1 from the ace category so 4 over 52 multiplied by 1 from the non ace category non ace category still has 48 cards but the total is now 51 now what is the answer this answer should be as you can see we have to multiply and then the denominator would remain the same the denominator is 52 into 51 only so this answer should be 96 over 663 now x is equal to 2 means you have both from the ace categories the first is 4 into 4 over 52 multiplied by 3 and 51 so let's calculate what it should be like this is 17 so this is 4 over 52 multiplied by 17 in the first go but you see that this also gets cancelled so it is 1 over 13 multiplied by 17 so what will be the answer like that we have to see so let's calculate the answer the first thing that you have to make sure that you cancel properly so 13 into 17 can be done on your own I'm not doing it so let's leave it here itself or what you can do is if you don't want to cancel the answer to this would be 3 over 663 now there is one more thing that is very much essential when we take into account this category which we didn't pay heed uh, uh, earlier this time I'm telling you that x is equal to 1 means it can happen that first card has ace the second card has no ace so a is ace and n is no ace or the first card is not from ace but the second is from ace that is also possible so this is not the only complete answer this plus again 48 over 51 multiplied by 4 over 52 this will also come so there are two things so this 96 will come after calculating both because see otherwise this is just a half of it so 96 over 663 will come over calculating both now what has to be calculated the mean has to be calculated so how to calculate the mean before that let's have the probability distribution table in order to make things more clear so this is 0 1 2 and what will be the answer like 564 over 663 96 over 663 3 over 663 you could have cancelled my dear friends but when the LCM remains same calculation becomes easier now what is the mean the mean is multiplication and the successive addition so 0 plus 96 over 663 plus 6 over 663 so this is 102 over 663 and that should be the answer to me now my dear friends first important thing that first know what the question says and then since this is from miscellaneous category this was very essential for you to understand that this should fall into the mean and variance of a discrete random variable category and then you can use the formulas. I have not written the formulas, but you in your examination, please do write the formulas.